Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and I know it's been quite a while since I've uploaded but what a great way to get back in because the new 6.0 expansion has just been announced with some crazy new features, a new storyline, new planets and all of that. And we're going to talk about and summarize quickly what's been announced so far in this video and uh, just in terms of release date it is set to release in September of 2019 so only a few months now until we do get some of the new stuff added. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. In terms of story, we are going to see a continuation of what we saw with the Osu storyline, where the Sith Empire is going to be fighting the Republic. And it seems as though the main storyline is going to revolve around a new Republic shipyard that has been constructed in Corellia. And they did announce that the finale of the expansion is going to happen on Corellia, with the Sith Empire making a sort of decisive strike, and the Republic's obviously going to have to defend against it. But amidst that, we're going to be traveling to all these different planets. And what's really interesting is that they did mention that the Alliance commander has a chance to tip the scales in favor of either faction. So just because um, you, know, you were aligned with the Imperial during the vanilla storyline, doesn't mean you have to align with the Imperial or the Republic. You can actually choose, which is quite cool and I think it's going to give a little bit more variability to how you want to play. In terms of what we can expect with each faction, the Republic is going to be kind of scrambling to go ahead and defend uh, the strongholds that they've built on like Corellia and the Empire. What they noted was that the um, Dark Council who sees victory on the horizon is going to begin to plot against one another in anticipation of the spoils. So we're going to see some infighting, which was quite characteristic of what we saw with especially the Sith warrior storyline in the vanilla where we could see kind of like the, the Dark Council going at each other. So it's going to be quite cool to see how that interaction plays out as well. One of the new planets that we're going to go to is Onderon, which is actually quite a famous planet both in terms of Old Republic lore. We saw it in the Clone Wars and the Rebels TV series and stuff like that. So it's quite a famous planet. And actually what it seems as though is we're going to be traveling like the jungles with a lot of beasts and stuff. But also they mentioned that Onderon has been a loyal member of the Republic, but will the planet's newly crowned king maintain the ancient allegiance? So we're going to see some of that royalty come into play. And I think the last time we've actually seen that has been like on Alderaan where we saw a lot of those different factions and different royal houses fighting with each other. So it's going to be quite cool to see that come into play again in this new planet. Another new planet we're going to see is a planet called Meksha, which is an independent fueling station. And it's a boom town that was built actually in a mined out asteroid that was once controlled by the huts, but now it's kind of this lawless den. We're going to see smugglers, pirates, mercenaries, and all those types of people. And it's going to be a place where obviously we're going to explore and no doubt get some of those uh, experiences that we had on other similar planets like Rishi or Hutta. And then as I mentioned earlier, the expansion will end back on Corellia and it's going to be a new part of Corellia that we haven't really seen before as well as it's going to bring in a new flashpoint on that planet. So that's kind of how the entire story or expansion is going to end. And this is going to be both for solo and players who want to play with their friends and stuff. So I think we're going to see a solo component similar to the other flashpoints that we've seen in the past. Uh, one of the other things is we are going to get a new operation and it's going to take place on one of the moons on Onderon and it's and it's pronounced or it's, it's spelled D-X-U-N. I don't know how to pronounce that, but basically it's going to be like this kind of jungle life where we're going to no doubt encounter a lot of animals, but also it is going to be controlled by the Chirk, uh, Zirka Corporation. And so no doubt we've seen kind of what that's looked like in the past with a lot of these kind of mechanical beasts and, and cybernetic beasts and all that stuff, as well as Trandosan hunters. So we're going to see that weaved in somehow. And the operation is going to be there right at launch. So, um, you know, people are going to be able to jump in and play it right away. Now, one of the really new features that they are bringing in is a new way to kind of customize our play style and our stats and, and kind of optimize our stats with the way we want to play. And they're calling it tactical gear. This is going to be a new gear slot that we're actually going to get with new items that we can put in there. And they did mention that it's going to include things like, you know, different types of set bonuses that we can actually choose from. These are really going to change our stats, our builds, our play style, and even abilities and stuff like that. We haven't gotten much detail on it, but that's kind of what they're going for. That's what their goal is, that everyone can kind of have a more personalized approach to how they want to play their class. So the take home point from that is a new gear slot, new items, new abilities, and uh, multiple set bonuses and gear sets that we can actually obtain. And those gear sets can be obtained, they said, through a variety of ways. So player versus player, player versus environment, crafting, uh, even galactic command, all of that different stuff. There's going to be different ways of acquiring this gear. And that's probably one of the bigger new novel changes that they're bringing into the game. And it's going to be really interesting to see some of, some of the new information that they give us about how exactly this is going to work. But right now, the information is quite superficial. We don't have much about kind of the different things that we can expect. 
but hopefully that gives you guys a really good idea of what we can expect with the new expansion and some of the new features that they're bringing into the game. And of course this will be free for all subscribers and again expect it coming at September of 2019. It might get delayed but just around that time that's when we can expect to see it. So this is really exciting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the information. I definitely enjoyed this announcement and I'm excited for 6.0 and to see where the story goes. This does seem like a, a smaller expansion relative to like Knights of the Fallen Empire, Knights of the Eternal Throne, but I do think they're really gonna be able to create some really cool stories and I do love the return to the Sith versus the uh, Jedi. I'm really gonna enjoy that and, and see how that plays out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one.